Hello, I'm Mark from Moonstone Publications. Welcome to this overview of some of the stories we've covered over the past week. But first, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. In this week's update, Discovery Health announces its contribution increases for 2025. MBSE students score top marks in the CFP professional competency exam. The FSCA wants to know what fund members are being charged for two-pot withdrawals. National Treasury defends how savings component withdrawals are taxed. The Phase Ombud proposes to increase its levy. And an insurer's weight loss campaign doesn't violate the advertising code. Discovery Health, South Africa's largest open medical scheme, has announced its anticipated contribution increases for next year. Pending approval by the Council for Medical Schemes, Discovery will implement a weighted average hike of 9.3% across its benefit plans. This will vary by plan, with increases ranging from 7.4% to 10.9%. Last month, the CMS urged medical schemes to cap tariff increases for 2025 at 4.4% plus reasonable utilization estimates. Discovery's weighted average increase for this year was 7.5%. Moonstone Business School of Excellence celebrated a remarkable achievement by its students in the CFP Professional Competency Examination in July. In the latest results from the Financial Planning Institute of Southern Africa, MBSE students secured two of the top five positions. MBSE not only boasted top individual rankings, but also outperformed peers with a higher pass rate and superior average marks. Edel Goldbach, MBSE's academic manager, attributes this success to the school's effective educational strategies and the dedication of its academic team. How much are retirement fund members being charged to withdraw money from their savings component? That's what the FECA is asking administrators and self-administered funds. The authority has issued a request for information that must be submitted by the end of this month. The questionnaire does not only inquire into what members are being charged. The FSCA wants to know the expenses incurred by administrators to implement the two-pot system, including system upgrades, staff training and member communication. It then goes on to ask how administrators plan to recover these costs. The authority intends to publish a report of its findings after it has collated and processed the requested information. National Treasury has defended its approach to taxing savings withdrawals under the new two-part retirement system. During a meeting of the National Assembly's Standing Committee on Finance, Treasury addressed criticisms of the decision to include withdrawals in a fund member's taxable income. Chris Axelson, Treasury's acting head of tax and financial sector policy, said individuals with an income below the tax threshold will not incur any additional tax if their total income, including withdrawals, remains below this threshold. For higher earners, the tax rate on withdrawals will be higher, reinforcing the system's progressive nature. He said tax needs to be paid at some point on retirement fund withdrawals. FSPs may face a higher financial burden in the 2025-26 financial year if the phase on Bud's new levy proposal is approved. The Financial Sector and Deposit Insurance Levies Act provides for the imposition of levies on supervised entities to fund the phase ombud. The formula for calculating the ombud levy comprises a base amount and a variable amount. The ombud does not propose altering the base levy of 1,100 rand, but it does propose a 4.6% increase in the variable components. This would raise the levy per key individual or representative from 690 rand to 722 rand. A naked insurance advert that plays on the words weight loss might be offensive to some, but it does not violate the code of advertising practice the Advertising Regulatory Board has decided.
The crux of the complaint to the ARB was the perception that the advert implies that losing weight is as effortless as changing an insurance policy. The complainant, who struggles with an eating disorder, found the advert triggering. Naked defended the campaign as a clever play on the word weight, emphasizing that the message was meant to highlight the ease and speed of its online insurance services. That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery. <music>